Sound up, yeah. rolling camera over here. Okay. Oh, just, this is rad. Um, well, my name is Dario, and I run Alimentari Aurora. Kind of a second life for me. Um, I used to be um, uh, an assistant professor of molecular medicine at UCSF. And then I had a, not exactly a change of heart. This heart has always been there and pulsing. I just never listened to it. And I got to a point where science was not feeling me anymore. And I decided to jump over and do this. I, now I work way more than I did before. I paid way less than I did before. 10 times more happy. So but you love it. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I think we were introduced by that guy GT Kombucha, is that Zach. right? Zach. 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 Yes. Zach, that's right. Because yeah. I was hired at the time uh, as a culinary director of Mutech Festival, Mutech San Francisco, and we were looking for beverage sponsorship and partners and people, honestly, who were just excited as us and throwing the, the first event in the US. And yeah, I suggested you guys, and yeah, you were literally like so supportive, so friendly. Uh, we loved it. And then that friendship started there, continued the second year. We had a brunch where we met uh, Shane and CY on Lion Dance Cafe. You guys became friends. Any T file. Yeah, so it's all the same. Yeah, all there. Yeah. We just jive, we gel super fast. So the dream for the collaboration yeah. kind of speaks for everything we already just talked <laughs> and literally it's a collaboration between me and you but it's Shane and CY on this cafe are very involved. I was telling you before that uh, once they came to visit here and CY's mom was here she brought the pecan from uh, uh, from France, which is a bitter orange amaro situation that you add to beer, and I loved it. And and then I remember the culture of mixing wine and Sprite or beer and Sprite in Italy. My grandma used to mix wine and Sprite, uh, and there's also a French thing called panache. So in the this refreshing, uh, we were discussing 16 ounce pint drink. Yep. Uh, your cruise, very refreshing beer, uh, Pinotto, which is uh, a bitter orange soda. This one specifically uh, uses a slow food protected um, Pinotto orange from Liguria, and it's less sweet than the classic San Pellegrino stuff that is like very bad in general. Umeshu, which is a sour plum macerated with rock sugar. Uh, and then neutral spirit, so that's homemade. Uh, and you made that? I made that. Where, where do you get the plums? I got them, this specific batch, I got them from Rintaro. Because a friend of mine was moving to uh, Belgium, and at one point he was like, hey, we got too many. <laughs> do you want it? We got a case of it. So Satomi made some, I made some. They're great. I actually don't know where they come from, but you know, it's Rintaro, so. Japanese uh, album, so it's, it was good stuff. To round it up, you Thomas had the intuition of uh, adding salt, um, and we thought about adding maybe another citrus aspect to it. So my friend Daphne in a jam makes these uh, salted Meyer lemons, and so a little bit of that as well. And it will probably be served with a, an orange peel or a citrus peel in general. Yeah. It's gonna, it's delicious. Thank you. I've never had anything like that. Thank you. Man, <laughs> come on guys. <laughs> can I say it again? You can take as many takes as you want, no worries, no worries. <laughs> 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 <laughs>